Check out the SW Theory merch shop down below. Hello there. Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. We're going to go briefly into the backstory of Sharad Het, but mainly we're going to talk about what Ki-Adi Mundi had to say about him in the log files concluding his death to the Jedi Council. The info is from the book Jedi vs. Sith, The Essential Guide to the Force. Let's begin. Over time, certain lightsabers have taken on legendary status. In the twilight of the Old Republic, one such lightsaber belonged to the Jedi Knight Sharad Het. After serving as a Padawan to Jedi Master Eeth Koth, Sharad Het was assigned to the most malignant corners of the galaxy to defend the weak and uphold the law of the Republic. For his continual acts of daring, he earned a reputation as the most fearless and dedicated Jedi Knight of his time. He also earned many epithets, including the Howl Runner, the Champion of Kramar, the Defender of Camparis, the Hound of Worlds, the Nemesis of the Kim, and Tamer of Tyrants. To many Jedi and their Padawans, his lightsaber became a symbol of his valor. In 47 BBY, Sharad had disappeared after taking a leave of absence. Fifteen years later, shortly after the Battle of Naboo, Het resurfaced on Tatooine as the leader of a group of Tusken warriors. The Jedi Master Ki-Adi Mundi was dispatched to learn whether Het had embraced the dark side, and he made the following recording after returning from his mission. I regret to announce that Sharad Het is dead. Even though I witnessed his passing, I admit it is hard for me to believe he is gone. Every living Jedi knows his name, and any Jedi born within the last 30 years would recognize his weapon. I have presented my full report of his activities on Tatooine to the Jedi Council, but feel compelled to notify every Jedi that Sharad Het lived and died as a Jedi. I also declare my decisions to take Sharad Het's son, Asharad Het, as my Padawan. Since birth, Asharad was raised by his father as a Jedi, and the Force is strong in him. He built his own lightsaber and has inherited his father's weapon. Although I know not whether a Sharad will choose one weapon over the other, I am certain that he will honor his father and the Jedi Order. Asharad Het became a Jedi Knight and served during the Clone Wars. According to various records, he utilized both the lightsaber he'd crafted and the one he'd inherited from his father, which placed him among the few Jedi who simultaneously wielded two lightsabers. His fate remains unknown. Records indicate that Ki Adi Mundi was slain by his own troops on the intergalactic banking clan stronghold world of Maigito, near the end of the Clone Wars. No further information was ever recorded by the late Kiari. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this backstory of Sharad Het and Kiari Mundi's log files about him to the Jedi Council. Have an awesome rest of your day. Hit like if you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you, always. Now, fulfill your destiny.